reviewing the Mach 300 GT from Dronecraft and uh, this comes in the kit which voila you will see it in front of me and we're gonna take a quick walk through this there's a lot of cool new things that I don't think a lot of people have seen uh, yet inside this kit so let's uh, talk through some of this so first we'll talk about um, the carbon fiber in these plates um, every single plate in the entire kit is three millimeters thick and what that means and you can see this up close is that these plates are as thick as the arms are thick. That's how thick every single piece of the kit is. Not And nothing is thinner than this. This is by far the stiffest carbon fiber I've obviously ever had a quad made out of, um, other than arms. It's extremely thick. Uh, this is the top plate. Again, extremely thick. Three millimeters. Um, four holes here to mount the Mobius front plate on the top of it to, to uh, shock mount the Mobius or GoPro. Um, we have two sets of holes here for the camera plate which is also three millimeters in thickness so you can put it in this set of holes for standard or this set of holes to tilt. Pretty neat. Um, there's some holes cut here and here to probably attach a VTX to the underside. Uh, there's a hole here for some wiring to probably pump, come through, maybe your XT60 connector. Um, there's some cutouts here of the uh, Dronecraft logo to probably save a little bit of weight. And there's a hole back here to uh, allow your SMA to come through. And uh, all in all, you know, a pretty neat top plate. Very, again, very thick, a three millimeter. And uh, kind of nice that it has those two sets of uh, camera holes to allow you to automatically tilt using those second two. So kind of nice. Um, all in all, a uh, nice plate. This is what I like to call a mid plate. And if you see in the illustration here, you can see it right there. It actually sits in between the top plate and the bottom plate. Or in the, actually sits in between, I'm sorry, the top plate and the power distribution board. So interesting piece there. Uh, the camera plates, these camera plates are meant for a uh, Fat Shark 600 TVL camera. They mount like this with some shock absorbers, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, in between them to allow for shock mounting. And you can actually tilt here to provide the camera tilt in addition to the tilt found on the plate. So you can add quite a lot of tilt through this kit. And then uh, last but not least, we have these arms, three millimeter, They're stiff, four holes in the bottom, Dronecraft logo motor holes and uh, all in all extremely stiff and this kit actually came with one two three four five so you actually get five arms with the kit which is kind of nice just in case so thumbs up for that uh, the kit also comes with some uh, sticky tape to mount your ESCs uh, it comes with some uh, wire ties which is a nice touch um, it also comes with some bullet connectors which go to this, which is really the gem of the collection, and this is the Dronecraft Mach 300 power distribution board. Now from this side, ta-da, we have the Naze 32 mounted. I actually have the pins all underneath. This is also extremely thick, 3 millimeter. And uh, so you have the bottom holes for the camera, some holes to have the wiring come through, some slots here to mount the ESCs. Um, you can see I have the flight controller, the Naze mounted there. If we flip it over, you'll see the bottom of the power distribution board mounting plates for the ESCs. You also have four locations where you actually can plug in the ESCs. Power goes there to the LiPo, which is also included and pre-soldered. So there's actually no soldering that needs done to, uh, for this board at all. It's pre-soldered. You just attach your four ESCs, plug in the bullet connectors, and you're ready to go. Um, someone had asked me before if you can remove these bullet connectors. I believe you can. If you look real closely, it looks like they're just soldered onto the board. So you should be able to unsolder these connectors and just attach them right to the pads if you wish. Um, if you flip over, you can see again uh, up front there are two 
pads for power, positive and negative. And then there are two jumpers here and here that power the LEDs here and here. So all in all, a very nice uh, piece of kit. And this is really the centerpiece of the DroneCraft Mach 300. Um, as far as parts are concerned, um, you'll see you have, at the far side, you have the pieces that go between the Mobius plate and the top plate, and they also are pieces that go between the FPV cam plates. We have some bobbins here. They actually give you two extra. But there's bobbins here to uh, it's a clean, dirty design. Small washer or small nuts to fasten to the FPV cam. Some two millimeter screws for smaller motors. Screws that are for attaching the FPV cam plate. The bolts for the arms. Bolts to hold the plates together with the bobbins. Bolts to hold the arms on, and bolts to hold the standoffs. And then you have your aluminum standoffs. So all in all very nice parts kit very thorough and that's all we have to really go on today to talk about um, again this is the uh, drone craft Mach 300 and uh, I'm looking forward to building this
Okay, so I completed my build of the Mach 300 GT by Dronecraft, and I just want to review um, what I did here. So uh, I went with the T Motor 2206 2000 kV motors, um, HQ6 by 4.5 props. Uh, up front, I went with the Fat Shark 600 TVL cam, um, some multi-copter builders, 12 amp ESCs, uh, the Naze 32 with pins installed underneath to keep it nice and clean. Uh, sitting on top of the mid plate back here, I'm running a Fat Shark 250 milliwatt VTX, and below that, I'm running a D4R2 receiver, and that really covers the uh, you know my setup from front to back. Also, a Spironet uh, V1 on the antenna side of things. Uh, I'm just kind of patiently waiting for the weather to get uh, warmer than the negatives here in Ohio, so I can give this a couple of uh, good FPV runs and get some feedback to you guys. And so, uh, as always, you know I really appreciate your support, and uh, you know part two will be coming along soon. So stick around. Thanks a lot.